know, Nancy is, I don't, Nancy is women's golf's uh, Arnold Palmer. And I'll, I'll never forget one time, one year at the PGA Merchandise Show, I don't remember which company it was, but they had Nancy and Arnie in the same booth. And the, and the line for their autographs wrapped around the booth like twice. And she's just, you know, she, in her time she was just a tremendous champion. She she putted out the yin-yang. I mean, she had a, a pretty unorthodox golf swing, kind of the polar opposite of Patty. But she could just make putts that, you know, weren't supposed to go in. And, and that became sort of her calling card, I think. Um, you know, Nancy has always been gracious. And that's the one thing that kind of disappoints me a little bit, that our players, you know, they're, they're starting their careers and really didn't get to see her in her prime. Hopefully they'll go back and look at some old tapes and see, uh, you know, a little bit about how, um, she conducted herself both in uh, wins and losses. I think my most memorable, well, I had a lot of memorable times with Nancy, but I was there at her loss when she almost won the Women's Open at Pumpkin Ridge. And she just played great. And Allison Nicholas just played just a little bit better than her. And, and I know it really hurt Nancy. I mean, she just, Nancy cries pretty easily. But those tears, I think she knew that that was her last best chance to win the Open. And it's too bad that, you know, she couldn't close it out. And, and actually, the irony of that was she had actually talked Allison Nicholas into staying in golf, and Allison was homesick and wanted to go home, back home to England. And Nancy said, no, 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 just hang on, just hang on. You know, you need to stay here on the LPGA and see what happens. And, of course, the rest is history.